Hi, I'm Alex and this is Pucks and Paper Rex. Today I'm recommending you 10 queer picture books that I think you should read. If you like queer book recommendations like this one, feel free to hit subscribe because I have a lot of queer book recommendations on this channel and I exclusively talk about queer and trans books. All of the books I recommend in this video are for ages 4 to 8 and higher and all of the books I recommend will be in my description if you want to go and buy them or you just want to add them to your TBR. Let's get started. The first book is coming out on August 18th. I received an e-arc of this through NetGalley and this is Me and My Dysphoria Monster, an empowering story about gender dysphoria by Laura Kate Dale. I really love this one and is about a trans girl named Nisha who is experiencing gender dysphoria and she starts to socially transition and it basically just walks you through a day in her life experiencing gender dysphoria and as somebody who also experiences gender dysphoria I thought this was really well done. A really important aspect of this book is that there are resources for parents and it really emphasizes to give affirming love to your kids when they come out as trans. I just really thought this was awesome and I will be picking up a copy for myself once it releases. The next book is Small Night and the Anxiety Monster written and illustrated by Monk Akasha. This is about a small knight who is non-binary and they're trying to come out to their parents but an anxiety monster starts following them around and I love this so much. It captures anxiety very well. Just like the last book, I'm really enjoying the way that monsters are depicted as feelings in these picture books and this one is just so sweet and amazing. This book is about social emotional learning but it also talks all about coming out and finding courage and I really enjoy this one. I love Small Night and it is such a sweet story so I highly recommend. This next book is also about royalty and coming out and this is I Am a Prince by Damien A. Lopez. This was self-published so I'll have a link down below if you want to go and pick it up. This is very similar to Small Night and the Anxiety Monster as this is about a prince who doesn't feel like a princess and he wants to come out to his parents, the king and queen. And what I love about this book is the parents give him so much love and affirm him and they basically just come to him and ask what they can do. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. They are so direct in asking him what they could do and it is so great. I think this is such an affirming book and I love it so much. Next is My Dad Thinks I'm a Boy written and illustrated by Sophie LaBelle. This was actually a webcomic at first but it got published and this is about Steffi who is seven and she has come out as trans and her dad is having a tantrum pretty much. I think this is such a funny book because Steffi is out and proud but her parents are not taking it very well and I just love the way that this was illustrated. It makes me laugh so hard because it really shows the perspective of how parents can poorly react when their kids come out. This one's really lighthearted but it also has a really good message to teach parents what not to do when their kids come out as trans and this is such a great story. Next I have It Feels Good to Be Yourself, a book about gender identity written by Teresa Thorne and illustrated by Noah Grandini. I think this is a really good introduction to gender identity. It goes over trans people, non-binary people, and what the term cisgender means. And I thought this was done really well because it shows so many different characters. It's not just a book where it's going to be like, this character is trans, this character is cis, this character is non-binary, and then you close the book and you're done. It really teaches a, like a beginner's level of what gender identity is and it shows all different characters and there's also a character of color who is a wheelchair user and I think this is a really good introduction to gender identity for kids. Obviously it doesn't go through everything but what I like about it is that it shows different characters and it really emphasizes that not every person is the same. You could look at somebody who is a wheelchair user and they're non-binary and I really enjoy this representation because it really just teaches from a young age that anybody can be trans and it's not something that you can seek out or know. I would recommend this for ages four to six. It's definitely on the lower level but it still has really good information. My next recommendation just came out on July 12th. This is If You're a Kid Like Gavin words by Gavin Grimm and Kyle Lukoff. 
and illustrations by Jay Yang. I love Kyle Lukoff. He's a great middle grade writer. He's a trans guy and I love him so much. I have another book by him in this recommendation list but here's the first one. This is a true story about Gavin Grimm, a young trans activist. This goes over Gavin's experience in school being denied access to bathrooms and so I do want to point out that there are trigger warnings for bullying and transphobia. Minor but they are still mentioned and I thought this was a really good way to introduce activism to kids. I think it's really good and just to read on your own if you're an adult because Gavin's story is important and I really enjoyed this picture picture book. It is just awesome and I want to learn more about Gavin after reading. I would recommend this on the illustrations alone but what I love is how it talks about choices. There's a line that says there are many choices kids get to make and so many more that they don't and it just talks about choices. This book had so many great quotes so I want to mention another one that says he tried to make them see that he was just a kid not a problem to be solved. This is just such a great book and I think you should put it high up on your picture book TBR because it was an awesome read. want a queer picture book with historical elements I'm going to recommend Two Grooms and a Cake, The Story of America's First Gay Wedding by Rob Sanders and illustrated by Robbie Catro. This is set from 1960 to 1971 following Jack and Michael and they are two gay men who are trying to get married but it was illegal and so they try to get married and it's a success. <laughs> so it is all about the first gay couple to legally get married in Minnesota and I really enjoyed the illustrations and the story because I hadn't known about this before but I really enjoy it and I've seen it all over Instagram and I'm so glad I finally got the chance to pick it up and now I'm passing off the recommendation. We are following the cake topper essentially and we learn all about Jack and Michael, how they met and what happened happened when they tried to get married. And it also has a timeline at the back showing how far we've come and how long it took for same-sex marriage to be legalized. So this is a great book if you're starting to teach about LGBTQ plus history. If you're looking for a book about kindness I have You Are Not Alone by the Alphabet Rockers and illustrations by Ashley Evans. This book is affirming but it also teaches allyship and it just talks about why these characters are here, who they are, and how you can be a better friend and ally to them. There's non-binary rep, a black character, an indigenous character, and a disabled character. I really enjoyed this because it teaches kids if they have a friend in school who is non-binary what you can do to help them feel safe in school and I love it a lot. My second to last recommendation is When Aiden Became a Brother by Kyle Lukoff, illustrated by Kehlani Juanita. And this is all about Aiden who is a trans boy. He comes out throughout the book and he also is introduced to the fact that his mom is having a baby. And I love this because it is not your stereotypical mom's having a baby story. This talks all about how Aiden coming out as trans helped his parents realize how gendered everything is and how gender neutral they go about this pregnancy and I love that so much. So if you've been looking for a book that is about having a baby or somebody just being a sibling for the first time, highly recommend this book because it does not go over gender in the way that most stereotypical books do. I love this book for that but I also love the illustrations like Aiden on the skateboard is everything and I felt very affirmed by this book. It's awesome. And my last recommendation is for anybody looking for a picture book with queer adults and this is 
Grandad's Camper by Harry Woodgate. And this is so adorable. I love it so much. This is about a granddaughter who goes to visit her granddad and he tells her all about the adventures he went on with his late husband Gramps who has passed away and basically he's chronicling his life with him and it is so sweet and the ending is absolutely so pure and amazing. The inspiration behind this book is because the author saw a lack of representation for older LGBTQ plus characters in children's books and this is just such a sweet book and I'm so glad that I read it and I hope you will too. Those are my recommendations and I will be doing further videos of this once I've read more. I want to know if you stayed until the end of this video what the last picture book you picked up was and if not what is one that is on your TBR and it could even be one of the books that I recommended in this video. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see and you want more queer book recommendations feel free to hit subscribe and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because it really helps out my channel when you do so. If you would like to help support this channel I have a Patreon. The link is down below. I will see you next time with another video. Goodbye.